Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. A very stormy evening for most of us. Heavy rain and winds hitting most of our region. This video is from Colchester earlier today. Just look at the tree blowing back and forth. But other parts of Vermont saw much more damage. Yeah, one of our best weather watchers, Stu, sent that in. I think he reports on the side, but, yeah. but he's a loyal <laughs> weather watcher, so we thank him for that video. Just a wild day. I mean, this is the radar loop from the last six hours, just a nasty line of storms, mainly south of the Champlain Valley. So we lucked out kind of in Burlington, but it was still windy and rainy. But yeah, and then you were talking tornadoes for yeah, a long we, time today. Yeah, we had two tornado warnings to the south. We don't have any confirmation that a tornado actually touched down. I'm not certain that the weather service will even go out and look. I asked them, but it's possible they'll send a survey team out to look at the damage. Just don't have confirmation of that yet. All we have confirmation of is wind damage. I mean, all these circles here are damage reports that were sent into the National Weather Service. One of particular interest here is in the Sandgate area of Bennington County. That's where the tornado warning was, and there are some reports that trees came down so that's why I think the Weather Service in Albany might at least think about going out to take a look at the damage and do a survey. Also had a report in Ticonderoga of some trees down. So it was really the first bigger severe weather event of the season that we had today. But a nice relaxing weekend is ahead. The sun comes out tomorrow, a little slow to come out, but it does. So both days we'll call nice, mild and then rain comes back on Monday. It's still mild too, with a little bit of humidity. If you're really sensitive, you might notice the humidity. I know I did earlier. It's 64 in Bennington, 62 Lebanon. Cooler to the north, typical 51. Uh, the dew point is 51. Well, the temperature is too, so there could be some fog out there. Pretty cool observation there. Dew point still near 60 to the south, so a little muggy. I mean, it has that real summer feel after storms go by at night. Probably fine to open the windows if a little bit of stickiness doesn't bother you. Here are the clouds tomorrow morning. There may be a sprinkle early and then the sun comes out. Just a really nice Saturday, especially later on. Sunday is nice and sunny too, first thing. But I think clouds come in pretty quickly on Sunday in advance of some rain for Monday. So 50 thereabouts tomorrow morning in the Champlain Valley. Highs tomorrow as the sun comes out pretty good. 65 in Burlington, South Hero in the low 60s, Malone at 59 and Lake Placid at 58. And we will have a few low 70s, I think, especially down towards Brattleboro and Bellows Falls for your Saturday. The trend on the temperature outlook shows that Monday is the coolest with the rain, but for the most part, we are in the 60s or 70s here for the foreseeable future. So good news. There's the rain on Monday. It looks like a pretty wet day, so not very good. And then Tuesday, there's some showers that linger. And the, the balance of next week is interesting because I think there's a messy storm system that lingers to our south. So down like near New York City, it could just be rainy and cool. We might luck out and be far enough north that it ends up dry on Wednesday and Thursday. There could be some showers at the end of next week, but not a high confidence on that right now. Memorial Day, by the way, is the 10th day in the forecast already mid 70s with sun and clouds. Steph. Tyler, thank